So guys, today is the day, the Ducky 3 is here, let's talk about latency, let's go! So if you are here, you're basically here for the numbers now, um, cause all the big YouTube reviewers already have done reviews for this amazing keyboard, you know how good it is, you know about the forum, about hot swap, about MX switches, about the form inside, about the evolution, about the price, the plastic, the PVT, basically you know everything, but I will give a, a short summarization of what I think and what I felt about it, and I will compare it um, with the duckies I've played before. And um, for me it's just like, um, was kind of, I, I got this keyboard two weeks ago, it's from mechanical keyboards, they sent it via express to me, because uh, in Germany, the keyboard is available mid of February <laughs> in German in German easy layout. So I decided to just buy an Ansi one because I really really want it hot. I'm a Ducky fanboy since day the first day I've bought one. To be honest, um, I always were very impressed by the out of the box quality and performance Ducky had, and so they have still on this one. And I think they even stepped up a little bit. They got better. The materials got better, the keyboard feels better, the latency is lower, and basically I was surprised a little bit to be honest, because um, the design here for me is not really like, I don't know, I would prefer plain black, a black one, so just black all out, you know, but they've done like matcher and uh, yellow and whatever. It's a little bit colorful for me to be honest, but it's totally okay. The Daybreak Edition here, yeah, it's okay for me. If there will come a black me mecha version out of it, I will definitely buy it. But so everything is nice. Um, I've chosen the silent red switches. These are MX Sherry silent red switches. Um, the newest version, hot swap version. So the 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 way it goes into the PCB is a little bit different to the ones before. And basically, just by telling from the data sheet from the um, Sherry website, they would be, or, or it looks like for me, they have a higher latency in total. But, ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe it's totally okay. Maybe you don't even um, feel it, because it's five milliseconds debounce anytime on this board. So it's the lowest you can set. So you can't say if it's one milliseconds or 0.1 milliseconds with the switch because the software will save you from this feeling, you know? Ah, but it's okay guys, believe me. I will show you later. For now, I must say, just by the form, compared to an old, or for to do the very last Ducky Mini version, um, this is one of the most actual models of the Mini plastic version. Um, I checked it, because I also checked here the um, the production number on the backside and the software which is on it is really one of the last. Uh, I bought it like one month ago or something and I it was uh, under 80 euro. That's why I bought it basically for giveaways for my uh, Twitch channel. And if you just compare them by the side, you can see for example that the ergonomics uh, increase a lot. The Ducky is way more ergonomic. Um, I'm also able to play it now without my hand wrist. Normally I'm using this, um, the Wooting hand wrist here, which is very good to be honest. And now I must say I can play this without the hand wrist. It's totally enjoyable for 8 to 12 hours playing Apex or working on a PC and doing something else, making researches. It's totally, totally fine. Um, the double shot PBT caps still feel amazing. The silent reds making no noise. And just to give you a brief comparison, this is my Ducky Mecha Mini with Silent Reds. This is Silent Reds on the old plastic Ducky. And this is the new Silent Reds. It's super silent, guys. Why it's super silent? Some of you already know. It's because of this forearm they have inside. Like, they call it Authentic Acoustics. Basically, they just put an, a layer, a shock, or yeah, basically a shock absorbing layer into the keyboard for you, and they still manage to have basically the same height as before. It's even a little bit lower than before, and the ergonomics are better than before with the layer. 
with hot swap PCB so you are able to swap your switches and they have done it all on this very little room. It's awesome work, you feel it, it also feels very worthy. The plastic, the outside plastic don't feel cheap. Um, even I thought it looks a little bit cheap because of the color they've chosen, but it's very good. Um, they reworked um, their own double shot PBT K caps. Um, they also feel or look and feel a little bit more worthy or a little even, yeah, they just, they took it to another level to one step ahead and you can feel it all over on the whole keyboard. Also the, the keyboard cable just improved. It's sleeved now, fits very good. High quality as always. Everything is in the box. Um, you also get extra keycaps again. You get the cable, you get the switch puller, you get the key, keycap puller. You have basically everything. Awesome work. Um, I'm just waiting for February to pick up some German versions. Maybe also get the full version for working on some Excels. And um, for us, it's like in Germany, the different versions are starting at 145 on Casking, which is the only German distributor. And then we're going up for the SF version, which has uh, some the extra arrow keys here. Without the F row, it goes already for 160 euro. And then we're going over to the full size version um, which is like 205 euro in silent wedge, with, which is or basically is a lot. But to be fair, to be honest, compared to other competitors, the way it's built, the quality and how it's made is on a very high standard. And competition also costs like 220, 230, 240 euros. I'm sure it's big, these are bigger brands, but to be honest, this performance here is basically outstanding. And I will show you the numbers now, guys. I prepared this for you, um, that's why some of you are here only, I know that's the only reason and it's totally okay. That's also why I'm basically into these products and why I'm doing this review. Sure, I love the technique behind, I love diving deep into it, you notice, know um, but I also at first want to say thank you to NVIDIA Germany and NVIDIA in general who um, is Basically, the only reason why we are able to provide you this table of end-to-end -end latency because NVIDIA provided us an LDAT and we want to say thank you NVIDIA because um, this steps up our game a lot and this is what we are into. We are into latencies here. A lot of latency related stuff will follow in the future and uh, you heard me already talking about a lot about latencies but I were never able to really, really prove what I'm saying 100% by pure data, by numbers. And now I'm fucking able to do this. Um, at first, let's talk about the setup. Um, my PC is an AMD uh, system, which is for the test set to a normal BIOS state with um, out high precision event timer in Windows um, with normal clocking, with normal fabric settings. So. Everything is pretty normal. I use a 1390 uh, graphic card from NVIDIA. I use a 360 Hertz monitor from ASUS, the PN, so it's PN RQ or the DQR models with the reflex analyzer technology and the G-Sync model in it. And basically what I do then, some of you know LLAT already, but I explain. I use the sensor, which is basically an optical sensor. I place this on the screen on the point where the flash, the shooting flash of the gun is, is appearing at first, so the first point. NVIDIA sends you everything, they send you PDFs about which weapon, which gun, which uh, place has the best environment that you can see the flash the best so the sensor can uh, realize the, um, the switching of the brightness on the screen and gives out very good, very stable numbers. And um, we've done it, we have tested a lot, we've spent a lot of hours up front to set up everything correctly, to have a uh, metrical and very good environment, which we also saved because we just want to have it saved to um, rebuild it every day or every test at the same time. That's what we have done already for you. And uh, today we want to show you our first numbers, which are proven more than this times we write down here in samples. We always will take 
50 samples. We don't do 50 samples only once, we do them multiple times and then we compare them and still compare the system latency up front in general and also watch if we set everything right. Also before starting measurement, we take products, we already know the latencies of, which we have already tested and compare them up front if it's still the same latency to be sure everything is set up right again. We've done this, this takes a whole, this takes a bunch of time guys. It's not like done in 30 minutes. Um, we want to have it on a very high, very um, accurate level and then you get these numbers. So you can watch this right now on the open Excel. We have provided down below the video in the link and I will explain you now what you see here. At first, the, you see the Ducky One Mini 3, this one with the silent red switches, with a debounce, manually set to five milliseconds by pressing Fn, Alt and Epsilon for some seconds until the keyboard flashes. And then we check end-to-end -end latency in Apex Legends, uncapped 299 FPS um, with 50 shots out of the flat line. Basically, this is the way we've tested this so far right now. We will add more games, different settings, less FPS, more FPS, different games, other caps, capping methods. But this is our very first approach for you. We will expand this all the time. We're doing something new. We will add stuff. We will make it more, we will make more, more samples, different tests, more options to check so that you get confidence in Apex and Valorant and Counter-Strike in the, I would say in top five games and people can just check their equipment there. We will do it for keyboards, for mouse, for everything basically, we can test. So for this keyboard now, for the new Ducky, the average MS is 12.10 milliseconds, which is a very, very, very good rate. I've already compared a lot of other keyboards up front and I already can tell you 12 milliseconds is good for a keyboard with a debounce set to 5 milliseconds. It's awesome. And I also, if you know this channel, you already know that I was playing a lot with the um, Razer Mini 1 but with the V2 red linear switches, with the optical red V2s. Um, and I also checked this to compare and we compared my Ducky Mesa Mini Silent Red, which I played lately until the new Mini arrived. And you can now see that our things was kind of right with the latency. It's not exact the latency they measured with their 1000 FPS cam system. Um, we've done it another way <laughs> with an LDAP build up, as you can see. And um, I can tell you basically on the standard deviation number that the smaller this number is, the more realistic the average MS is. As you can see on the Ducky Mini, on the 12 MS, it's plus minus 1.3 MS. And on the um, Huntsman Mini, which is, has an average um, of 10 milliseconds end-to-end -end input delay, which means the signal got registered and then it takes 10 milliseconds until the shoot or the, the shot is breaking, so the light reflex is flashing. And that's what we have proven or we have measured with the LDAT. That's basically, the, for me, it was the best way to compare them. And I think 10 MS with a switch, which has like a, um, 0 0.25 milliseconds in just pure debounce time and delay, which is claiming to be we are basically the fastest switch you can have in the optical branch, which for example for me would be or needs to be more than 2 ms faster than on the new Ducky. 10 ms is great. I have keyboards here with maybe less, but I will show you another video. And um, I think the new Ducky with 12 milliseconds with mechanical hot swappable switches and 5 milliseconds steam bows is awesome, awesome piece of keyboard for a fair price for roundly 150, 160 euro. It's very silent, very nice build and 
compared to my old Mecca Mini, it's like nearly four times faster just in end-to-end -end input delay. I never believed that this keyboard has 40 milliseconds in input end-to-end -end latency, but it has. So for everything, for everyone I said, it doesn't have, I'm sorry for this guys, I proved it myself now and I believe it now. We can prove everything now and we will do. And we will continue doing this and we enjoy to do this for you guys. So that's basically it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review so far. Um, when I get a new keyboard, which is unreleased, I also will do this latency reviews. We will add some stuff later. For everything new, which, which, uh, what is coming, like new keyboards, new, new mice, we will do this always on the review or upfront of the review and will present you the new numbers in the review and then we will add them to the Excel so you can see it. They will not be added upfront, guys. They will, we, uh, will be added later after we've done the video, okay? So keep this in mind. This Excel will be open for everyone to um, watch into. Um, also, when I just add some older stuff, you will see it. Um, I will post it on my Twitter, so check my Twitter and you will see it on videos here on our YouTube. So leave a follow, guys, and if you have any questions, just put it down in the comments below. Um, thank you so far for being here, for watching, and I hope I see you on the next video, guys. Goodbye.